I have split all combat units into three factions. The ranged units team will provide fire support from afar, while the infantry team engages in close combat. Lastly, we have the special task force of Rover, Yang Yang, Janshin, and me. Allow me to introduce Kong Lin, leader of the ranged units team. And this is Yue Hui. He's in charge of the infantry team. This is a topographical map of the Norfall Barrens. The Overthrax's power limits our reach. Outrider scouts can't go beyond the Norfall Barrens and Valley Junction. The deepest we ventured was three years ago, when we discovered the suspended ruins in its hinterland. But the terrain is treacherous narrow and flanked by high cliffs on both sides, leaving only one path for our troops to travel. On the other hand, our enemies must take the same route if they want to attack us. With the Overthrax reorganizing their frequencies and bringing them back, we will face endless waves of attacks. Every time we cut down an enemy, it gains more power. Time is of the essence. We cannot afford a prolonged battle. We must swiftly and safely get our strongest units in the heart of the battlefield, reach that statue, and take down Overthrax in time. Rover, let's plan carefully and use each team's strength to our advantage. First, are ranged units. Armed with long-range weapons, they can strike from a distance. But we need to strategize based on the terrain, topography, and enemy forces. If we manipulate the terrain to our advantage, our strikes will be more effective and cover a larger range. Where should we deploy the ranged units? Deploying our ranged units high above the valleys in advance. This way, they'll provide cover for our close combat forces while staying safe themselves. We'll use their range advantage to the fullest. It's a smart move. Next, the infantry. They have been trained and equipped for close combat. The heart of Norfall Valley is our main battleground, where we'll fight our enemies head on. We need to plan our attack wisely. How should the infantry engage enemy targets? We could divert some forces to flank the enemy, disrupting their formation and gaining an edge. However, a successful outflank requires a wide battlefield, but the small passage of Norfall Barrens limits our options for movement. And we can't predict everything that will happen on the battlefield. Our diversion could leave our frontline vulnerable. It may not be the best strategy. How should the infantry engage enemy targets? Now that the narrow terrain has dictated an inevitable confrontation, the infantry will attack head-on, breaking their line. Then our task force can strike where they're vulnerable. A reasonable choice. Lastly, the special task force. All resonators with powerful abilities, they have superior mobility and combat skills. If the chance arises, they will be responsible for taking down the Overthrax. What should the Special Task Force do? We'll join our effort to break through their defenses and crush their source of power. 
This is the only way to completely rout the enemies. It's a risky but necessary move under our current circumstances. Thank you, Rover. The battle plan is clear. I will now recap our plan. Kong Lin, your team will take the cliffs for fire support. Yuehui, your team will charge enemy lines to pave way for the special task force. Yes, sir! And I'll join Rover, Yang Yang, and Jian Xin to create an opening for our main forces and take down the Thrinodian. Good. Are we all clear on what to do? Our next move is to reclaim the disruptor and break through the ground wave barrier. Rover, do you see that iridescent veil? That's the ground wave barrier. Overthrax set it up to absorb frequencies in the Norfall Barrens without interruption. One of our top priorities now is to protect the disruptor from tacit discord attacks. It's a powerful anti thrinodian weapon from when Jinjo was founded. We need it to break through this barrier. I'll leave it to the professional to explain the details. Greetings, General GM, Rover. How's the preparation going on your side? We've got good news and bad news. Good news is we've established connection to the disruptor and we're ready to go. Bad news is the disruptor's electric capacitor is damaged. Simply put, it's out of power. Fortunately, there should be a backup power outlet. To use the disruptor, we'll have to repair that outlet first, then wait for a full charge. Any questions? In theory, we could. In practice, it's difficult. First, it could dodge our attack. Not even a perfect hit can kill it. It will be gravely injured, but not dead. Thronodians have been proven to be way stronger than we imagined. Our disruptor can't handle the Overthrax, but it can certainly break through that barrier. Any questions? That's because this ancient disruptor dates back at least to the founding of Jinjo. Creating such a powerful weapon with limited technology back then, whoever did it was truly a genius, I must say. If we were to unleash its full power on Jinjo City, it might launch the entire place into the air. Any questions? I can, but it takes time. No matter how fast I build it, Jinjo won't be able to hold out that long. Any questions? By the way, this is a weapon of mass destruction. The capital would want strict control over its use, I assume. Will they really approve our application? Magistrate and I have it covered. Trust me. All right. We'll be waiting for the green light. Lastly, we've got more bad news. Baja, please fill us in. Yes. Rover, I am currently monitoring the tacit discord attacks from the Academy to design a safer route for you. We just received word from our soldiers at the emplacement. A large number of tacit discords are targeting the disruptor, and our troops are doing their best to defend it. The disruptor has been surrounded by the tacit discords, with more of them slowly closing in. After we recapture the nearby emplacement, it will take some more time for the disruptor to recharge. You may need to hold out a little longer. I'll send you the coordinates of the disruptor and its backup energy port. We wish you the best of luck.
I trust we all understand the situation now. Rover, Yang Yang, please go and secure the disruptor and fix its backup energy outlet. Jian Xin, please stay and guard the base. I'll draw those tacit discords away. Let's get moving. It is natural to feel dreadful of the unknown. Yet, there are times when the unknown harbors hope. Like that. General GM sent us here to help. How are things going? Those monsters have occupied the emplacement with a surprise attack, but a few brave troops are still holding on. We've blocked off access to protect our base, but I'm opening it up for you. Please, they need your help. We're counting on you. Soldier. Over there. He needs our help. This reparation key, take it. I may not see our victory in person, but please, please defeat that monster for us.
Thank you. Yes, we will win. Please, rest in peace. One with the sound. Strike from the shadow. Synchronization. Hey! Disruptor's 50% charge. Enemies ahead. Watch out, Rover. Shake the shakeless. Disruptors at 80%. Their offense is weakening. Hold on just a little longer, Rover. Ha! Swift and resolute. One with the sound. The hour is upon us. I sense your weakness. This lecture's fully charged. Rover, let's take out the remaining tacit discords together. One with the sound. Let me be your brain. Let the winds roar. Don't worry. Swift and resolute. No hesitation. Moment of resonance. Synchronization. I can take it. Keep it together. First. Last. Let me be your blade. Synchronization. Uh. Storm, hear my command. Swift and resolute. I should give it my all. Well done. The rain has stopped. General, the Retroact rain's effects are subsiding. We are observing a sharp decline in the number of TDs in the Norfall Barrens. The disruptor is fully charged and ready to fire, but... It takes a lot of energy to fire the disruptor. If we missed... This is our only chance. Greetings. Can you hear me? As the Magistrate of Jinjo, I've obtained the approval to use the Disruptor in combat. The enormous energy consumption, the risk of a misfire, and the weight of this decision... I will bear the responsibility. I alone will be accountable for the outcome of this battle. Whatever it may be. General. Rover, please march on. May victory prevail the lasting night. I pray for your safe return. Thank you for your trust, Madam Magistrate. No need for that, General. We've always shared the same goal, you and I. Attention all units. Do everything you can to assist. You are authorized to use the disruptor. Target the Norfall Barons. Defend Jinjo at all costs!
One o'clock. Watch out. Tacit Discord incoming. Right. Synchronization. The truth of the sun. Hide the time. Like this? Shake them off! Use your grapple now! Master Tian Sing! There's too many of them. Someone must stay behind to keep them at bay. Everyone, let's part ways here. Carry on with your mission. You can leave the rest to me. Yang Yang, Rover, follow me. We're going down from here. Mind the cliff! Rover, are you all right? Stay sharp. More tacit discords are coming. Swift and resolute. The hour is upon us. The suspended ruins are ahead of us. The resonance beacon here is still functioning, and the defense feature is intact, too. We can catch our breath here. The Overthrax assault has been as brutal as expected. We've been cut off from our main forces. It's the three of us against all of them from here. Master Tianxing, I hope she's okay. I tried to contact her and our base, but nothing came back. The Thranodian's power is possibly interfering with terminal signals. We have no choice but to trust them now. Let's press on. We're bound to face a vicious fight. We've reached the suspended ruins. We'll get going once you're ready. Usually quiet inside. Tread with caution. This wall. We should be able to pull it away with our grapple.
Every path ahead has been cut off. We're not seeing anything at the moment. Rover, be careful. Something bigger might be waiting for us ahead. As expected, the enemies are increasingly strong as we approach the statue. Have you been injured, Rover, Yang Yang? I'm okay, but Rover, he... Give me your hand. <laughs> Knew it. The battle has left you with a few scratches. I still have some first aid with me. Please use them. The upcoming battles will be even more dangerous. Should you get injured, you must let me know in time. Let's keep moving. Several floating platforms ahead. Perhaps we can make use of them. Watch out! I can feel tacit discords ahead. One with the sound. Shake the shapeless. I sense your weakness. The end has come. These rocks are blocking our way. We'll need to get rid of them. Finally. Rover, you hear me? Our signals got blocked off by the Thronodian's power. It took us a lot of effort to make this call get through. I have to say, your terminal has a very intriguing design. We'd love to thoroughly investigate it once we have the chance. Now back to business. We are aware of your situation. Luckily, your current location is still within the Disruptor's range. We can provide fire support. You've seen what the Disruptor is capable of. We can turn down the output power, but I strongly advise finding cover far away. The structure of this building is almost entirely destroyed. We'll need to create a safe space where we can take cover. There is a floating platform over there. Perhaps we can make use of it.
Aim at that wall. We can pull ourselves over. Mortify, it's time. Understood. Watch out, everyone. We did it. The disruptive power is down to one-third. We can only fire it one more time. After that, it needs to recharge. Take care, everyone. I'm on standby to help you any time. Let's try pulling the floating boulders together. This should make our path ahead. One moment, Rover. We can work the terrain to our advantage here. Get it done. Same situation. Let's do it again. An impermanence heron. In this place. So many enemies along the way. I couldn't have made it past them so fast without you. We're almost there. The statue's power is getting stronger. I can feel it. We don't have much time left. Let's move on. floors up there. But how are we going to climb up? I can see a gravity stream ahead. 
It's currently blocked off. We'll pull the rocks away first, then let it carry us up there. More rocks. Let's remove them once we find a foothold. reach the top. That giant rock. We've got to remove it somehow. It moved a little. Let's give it a couple more goes. Almost there. <sighs> we finally did it. We'll reach the top soon. The road ahead is completely blocked off. You choose where the disruptor's last blast hits. Make it count, Rover. May it cleave out a path for us. This amount of enemies, we cannot fire the disruptor again. Yang Yang, you. The Trinodian is only going to summon more of them as we go. We need someone to keep them away and escort the others into the statue. I understand you're planning to do it yourself, General. But I think I am better suited for this task. We all want to beat the Vernodian once and for all. I understand that you don't want to leave anyone behind. But we all know you and Rover have the best chance against that monster. Now that our shared goal is within hand's reach, I... I do not want to let it slip away. Indeed, Yang Yang. Turns out I was the one being indecisive. Now, Rover. Please make the call. I'll stand guard here. The Thrinodian will not be able to draw more power from the monsters. I'll leave the rest to you.
It seems the culprit is hidden deep within this statue. This will be our final battle with this Renodian. Rover, are you ready? Indeed, we've come too far to turn back now. Let's bring an end to this war once and for all. That's another moon. What on earth is happening? The Crownless. The Threnodian has reconstructed its frequencies. That moon has cannibalized the Crownless's remaining frequencies to create another monster. I remember I saw it during the Battle of the Crescent. The hour is upon us. Tell truth from the sun. Break! This is the swordsmanship we teach our new recruits. How dare you! Tell truth from the side. Watch out for its ranged attacks! Rover, have you noticed? It avoids attacking the moon behind. That moon must be the core of our enemy. This thing is weakening. I'll shield you from its attacks. Rover, find a chance to strike its core. My weapon already, huh? One more time. Fight the time.
the sound. As the conceptualization of war, somehow it opted to flee instead of fighting us properly. <laughs> Rover, is that...
This place is collapsing soon. Let's get out of here first. Wouldn't hurt to be more prepared. Gather round, I have a tale to spin. Our feather-haired maiden faces a horde of beasts. And just in time, a ray of light. Sunbeams burst through the clouds, banishing darkness out of sight. From the statue emerged two, guess who we have? None other than General Jian and the legendary rover. And lo, ruins fell, a colossus shattered, the Overthrax meets its defeat. Mountains and rivers exulted in glee as the war's finale came to be. As they say, why fear when fate is ours to shape? Amidst setbacks, heroes will rise to conquer. Their determination fuels the fire of hope in our darkest hour. Under starlit skies, we battled, divine loom roaring above. Now victorious, our songs of triumph shall shake the clouds. And our story goes on.